Right. Hi, I'm Jamie Ruby from Sci-Fi Vision. Thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. I enjoyed the first four episodes that we got to see. Um, so can you start by talking about sort of what it was about this the, this time period or this subject matter that just kind of made you want to make sure that you had to do it? Well, you tell that first. <laughs> well, um, uh, Anya and I first started talking about it when we first came across this part of the history we just couldn't believe that it hadn't been explored before because it's an extraordinary story uh, that really, it's a roller coaster for Elizabeth, for her two siblings, Mary and, 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 and Edward, and all the people around them. But it also felt like a, a really contemporary story uh, that explores the relationship between Elizabeth and Thomas and explores power and a really complicated relationship between a young woman who feels she's in control, but actually isn't really in control. And it felt like a kind of a definite, you know, a, one of the things that really helps to make Elizabeth who we who we think of when we think of Elizabeth, the icon. Um, and I, think what, sorry. I think that's what drew it to me, it drew me to it, was every bit of the history we found out, it kind of, I went, oh, that's why she never got married. Oh, that's why she never picked a side. It was just suddenly all the things I knew about her made sense from this earlier story. So that felt really exciting to kind of tell a story backwards where it's what she, uh, all the things that happened to her that make her who she is, rather than it be um, kind of, we usually explore it backwards. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, um, other, than, other than maybe keeping the, the, the story straight there, what was kind of the most difficult thing in, in bringing it to television? Probably, That's yeah, like, the, the central story in this in the early in the early part of the series is definitely her and Thomas um, and this very complicated borderline of well of abusive relationship um, and trying to handle that with the with with the right knowledge of the history and be accurate to it um, try and try and address it without putting too much of a modern lens on it or without trying to well because it, was, it wasn't acceptable at the time, which is, I suppose, one of the most shocking things I found about it, is I kind of thought, um, oh, it was a different time, everyone was fine with those things, and actually they weren't. Um, but I think handling, handling that, that story was definitely the, the, hardest, the hardest part. Right. One of the things I think you, you, you talked about really early on, Anya, was that, you know, it, it, it's a story that, you know, raises really big questions about what's going on between Thomas and Elizabeth, but we're telling it through Elizabeth's eyes. And so what she feels, and I think that's what kind of Anya judged brilliantly, you know, she, you know, she's really attracted to Thomas early on, but as the story unfolds, our feeling about that relationship shifts as her feeling about it shifts as well. And it's, it's, um, it's really, really compelling watching her trying to figure out how to deal with it. That also felt very contemporary, very relevant to now. Well, George, I know, I know, Anya said that, but was there something in particular that really surprised you that you found out when you were, you know, researching this? I think the uh, uh, I thought that central relationship between Elizabeth and Thomas is written about loads in the history books, but it's never been never been dramatized on television. I, I found that, you know, really surprising, uh, really. Uh, uh, it's a it's really complex, really interesting territory, and I think the other thing is it's so dangerous and turbulent. I couldn't I couldn't get over the fact that it's such a kind of dangerous world, and people are, you know, everybody's trapped in this cycle. Uh, they're either moving up the chain and getting control, or they're being carted off to the town and being executed. And those that and they all know each other they're really close to each other they're all related to each other <laughs> yeah, uh, and it's like you know Annie you talked about it like a gangster film yeah. because everybody's trapped in these power dynamics that are really damaging and very dangerous and that made it really thrilling to you know to to unfold as a story even if you just read the history it does read like a like a thriller it was yeah. kind of and then he does what kind of every <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's also funny at times people make really stupid mistakes they're very you know i think that's another thing that anya's done 
amazingly, there's a lot of a lot of shows that are about history. Everybody tells very very important. Everybody has very important conversations the whole time. And these are characters. They don't know what's going to happen next. They don't know they're in a piece of history. They're just trying to figure out what to do from one minute to the next. And they're funny. They are, you know, not always in control of what they're doing. It's really, really surprising. Right, right. All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the, the rest of the season. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.